What's up, guys? It's Jordan and Tony from Asia Community, and we're here in, uh, wait for the screen, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. Yes, Metal Gear Solid 5. This is the the Dead Rising 2 type prequel thing. Yeah. You know, it's it's one mission long. Yeah, got there... a little time to play around before the airstrike comes. Yeah. What? That was Dead Rising. Oh, yeah. oh, That was okay. your time limit. Right. It's uh, one mission long, and then it has a bunch of side missions, and it's all played out on the same map. And it's basically like a little teaser thing for yeah. the new open world. Give right? old, it's going to be open world a little bit of a taste. game. Yeah. Right? Open world. That sounds odd. But as a man who has uh, not played Metal Gear Solid very much, mm -hmm. I've played it before. I've enjoyed it. But uh -huh. I'm not a hardcore fan. I enjoyed this very much. It felt like the Metal Gear Solids that I've played before. Yeah. But it felt different. As if like I could pick it up as not like a hardcore fan and still understand what's going on and still play it. Yeah. Yeah, like as, I yeah. as a guy who's played it. Yeah, I've played I've played a little bit of Metal Gear Solid. Um Yeah, it's it's a uh, smoother, I would Smooth. say. Yeah. It's definitely nice got uh, some some upgrades. Snake's leather but, uh, suit looks really nice. Still a challenge, I would say. You know? Yeah, it is a challenge. It is a stealth game, which uh I'm not usually a fan of stealth games even though I've done Thief and I've done this, but yeah. I like it because it allows you to kill people. And I hate stealth games that are like don't kill people. That's bad because sometimes you need to you need to get people out of your way, and then you are you are punished if you kill like mass amounts of people because you mm -hmm. will get detected. Yeah. You can't hide all those bodies, but you know if there's a guard in your way, just kill him. Murder is okay, guys. Get him it's out. Okay. Drag his body, it's or okay you could interrogate people. him, or you could uh, you could just knock him out. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He wakes up if you take too long, and then he'll be like, "What happened?" Then he'll find some other people and go get help. So weird. I always I always stab them after I interrogate them. So this is a thousand point game. After they even beg though, you not to. <laughs> <laughs> even though it's thirty bucks, it's still a thousand point game. Fifteen achievements. Let's start with the biggest achievement: hero for two hundred and fifty gamer score. Cleared all missions, including side ops and extra ops, which include most of the missions with an S rank. That's really hard. That's the FU achievement. At least gives you 250 gamer score. It's not like the Dead Rising FU achievements would give you 20. Uh, Ooh. there's there's hidden, which is to clear the Jameis Vu extra op with zero enemy combat status. Yes, game. the Jameis Vu, however you pronounce that. Jameis Vu. You get that. You unlock that by finding all the patches. Mm -hmm. All the eye patches. No, it's Pirates. they're like insignias. Yeah. For the army mm -hmm. that you're uh that you're in. So uh. I'm going to have a guide for that. going to find them all. There's nine of them, and they're all on the same mission. So it's uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, let's move on to Reunion. Uh, reunite with Chico or Paz. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, are these people from previous games? Possibly. They I are. Didn't, I didn't play Peace Walker, which oh, is a direct oh, sequel. Oh, this is, the yeah. Game. This is a direct sequel to Peace Walker. So, you know, I pulled you in because you're a Metal Gear Solid expert, and you didn't play the one game that this is a sequel to. So if you are a fan of Chico or Paz... Be excited, because they're in this game. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there's Unlocked, which is to unlock all the trials. Yeah, that's hard, because you don't know what all the trials are. There's, so you just got to do stuff. There's Information, which is obtain all the cassette tapes. Is that also, hard, too? Also hard, because okay. some of them are scattered around. Like, you just find them, pick them up. Some of them you have to rescue prisoners. Uh, and some of them you have to complete certain objectives certain ways. So it's really... It, it's like a... Free for all. You just don't know what's going on. Insignia obtain all the XOF unit patches. You can find all those. A lot you don't of, need to rescue people. A lot There's of finding nine of stuff. In Fifty this game. gamer score for that one. A lot of finding stuff. A lot yeah. of a lot of crawling around. A lot of sneaking. A lot of knocking people out. A lot of getting information. Yeah. Rescuing people is a big part of it. You can say this game has a lot of depth. Clear the eliminate <laughs> the renegade threat side up by extracting both targets. Fifty gamer score. We're not doing this again. No, we're not. Not again. Pacifist though. Clear the intel operations rescue side op without killing a single enemy. I hate those achievements. Mm -hmm. I hate not killing people in a game that gives you guns. What's the point of it? What are you doing at that point? Yeah. What are you doing? You're just walking by. You're waiting for somebody to walk away. That's it's what you're doing at that like point. It's like a video game with gasoline in it. It's a waiting simulator. Waiting. Anyways, this game's fun. 30 bucks. Yeah. It's got decent replayability. Uh, we're out, though. Yeah. Right. Ah. Pick it up. Snake. 